first thing we're going to do is uh, cook some bacon. I have six strips in here which I cut into slight uh, pieces as you can see. I'm just going to cook this until it's all cooked. <laughs> we're going to use two 10 ounce cans of clams for this. I'm using baby clams. Uh, and what I did is I just, as you can see, uh, drained them, but I'm going to keep the liquid. Uh, that's 283 grams, by the way. If you're using bigger clams, you're going to have to chop them, or you can just buy minced clams um, for this, you know, chopped clams. I'm also going to use clam juice for this. This is an 8-ounce bottle. Uh, that's 236 milliliters. Um, if you cannot find this, you can use a cup of chicken stock. All right, we're going to take the bacon out of the pot now that it's nice and crisp. I will keep the fat in there. I'm going to add some chopped onion to this and uh, celery. We're going to cook this for a few minutes until the onions are softened and translucent. I'm going to be using baby potatoes for this recipe. All I did is scrub them. I will not peel them and I quartered them. You can use russet potato, peel it, and just uh, chop it into pieces. I'm going to add some thyme leaves to this. Let's call it a teaspoon. Now I'm going to add a third cup of all-purpose flour. Up a grams on the recipe for you. We're going to cook this for a couple minutes. Now we're going to add our liquid, the liquid from the cans and the clam juice. You know, uh, the clam juice is salty and the liquid from the can also has some salt to it. So I'm not going to add any salt until the end. We'll taste it and then decide if it needs more. So I have roughly two and a half cups of liquid. And I'm going to whisk it in uh, and get rid of all the lumps that might form, you know, all the flour lumps that might form. You know? There's no flour lumps in here. This is perfect. I'm now going to add my potatoes. And most of the bacon. I'll leave some for topping. So we'll leave that for toppings. All right. We're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes until the potatoes are tender. Don't let this start boiling crazy, okay? Make sure it's just simmering. I want you to stir this occasionally, okay? These potatoes are cooked. They're nice and tender. I can pierce them with a fork. That took about, I'm going to say maybe 20 minutes. I'm going to add one and a half cups of cream to this. And I'm going to add the clamps. So we're just going to mix all this. We're going to simply heat this through. I'm not going to let this boil. I'm going to taste for salt. Mm. For me, it's fine. I will add pepper. As you can see, I garnished this with some bacon. And now we are going to eat dinner. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, -hmm -hmm. oh, yes. This is one of my favorite soups. It's not health food, so I don't eat it maybe once a year, <laughs> but boy is it good. This is very, very, very nice. You know, super easy to make, elegant enough to have for when you have guests over. It's also a great little weeknight dinner. By the way, this bread is made by my friend Mercedes here, and she's going to be making a video with us in a few weeks so that I can show you how to make this. We're going to make these into little rolls. Delicious. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it a lot. If you like it and you give me a like, thank you. If you share it with your friends and you sub and you comment, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how much I appreciate your support a lot. Thank you. I will have this recipe on the website ready for you guys to come and print it. In the meantime, eat well without going broke. I'm going to see you guys soon.